Memories take us back. Dreams take us forward. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. This episode of 7 Good Minutes is being brought to you by Audible, featuring the world's largest selection of audiobooks. Successful people have one thing in common. They read more. How do they find the time? With Audible. Get more books into your life. Start a 30-day trial with Audible today and your first audiobook is free. Cancel anytime and your books are yours to keep forever. To get started, just go to 7goodminutes.com slash audiobook. Today's audio clip comes to us from our friend Peter Sage. Peter gives expert advice on how to forget the past and move on in life when that's what you need to do. Enjoy. Well, for a start, let's just analyze exactly what the past is because the mind loves to come up with labels and one of the most disempowering labels that is being used in society today is the past. We use it to refer to something that is actually a little bit of an illusion. In the context of right now what is the difference to something that happened two seconds ago versus two years ago? They're both ancient history. They're gone. Never to be repeated. If you start to understand that all the past is, all it can ever be is a real-time memory of a previous event with the brain filling in most of the blanks coupled with imagination. Now, the kind of blanks the brain fills in and what job the imagination does is really directed by one thing, and that is the meaning that you chose to give the event that happened. That is the past. It has no recollection, sorry, it has no impact right now in this moment at all. It's gone. Now, the challenge is that we are emotionally hooked to it based upon the thinking that we have around that event. And if our biochemistry is stimulated in a consistent way based upon consistent thoughts of that event, it's going to trigger emotions and feelings that keep us trapped. Let me demonstrate. If you're driving home from a party, and I know none of you guys will have ever done this, but let's just say you've had a few drinks, you think you're okay, kind of borderline, but you're going to go home anyway. Let's just say you're driving home, or know somebody that would, and you see a blue light in your rearview mirror. What happens to you physically at that point? Well, if you're like most people, you'll suddenly have a biochemical shift. Your heart rate will go up, your blood pressure will go up, your breathing will increase. Yeah, you'll have yeah, uh, a whole series of cascading effects inside the body based upon higher levels of adrenaline, cortisone, fear response. Yeah, that's, we know that. But here's the most interesting question. What caused all of that neurochemistry to start? Now, some people would say, oh, it was the blue light. Well, it can't be the blue light because the blue light didn't suddenly hit your skull, bury itself into your head, cross the blood-brain barrier, and start messing around with your neurons to produce different neuropeptides and chemicals and hormones that then influence the biochemistry of the body. That didn't happen. It was your thinking in relation to what the blue light meant. And if that blue light then overtakes you and goes chasing somebody else, you have a different reaction. If you pull up at a party and there's a a blue light there with an ambulance and you're there to pick up somebody you care about, you have a different reaction. So it's not the blue light. You know, I could tell a joke on stage in front of 10,000 people and have half the audience yet laugh out of their seat and half the audience walk out in disgust. It's not the joke, it's always the meaning you give the joke or whatever it is. So if you understand that If you have an emotional, a biochemical reaction to the thinking that you have around events in the past, every time that you think of that event in a certain way, you trigger a different thought pattern that causes different chemicals, and then all of a sudden, I feel down, I feel depressed. And it's as if that even though it was ancient history and doesn't exist anymore, you bring it into the present moment through biochemistry. That's how most people get trapped in the past. Now, if you understand that 
you, know, you can never do anything about what's happened. You can't. You can only choose new choices in the moment to empower you to be able to move forward following that. It doesn't matter what happened to you in your life. Everybody has a story. It never matters what happened to you. It doesn't exist anymore unless you replay the thoughts and refire the same chemicals. Uh, then it appears real, even though it happened in ancient history. The only thing that matters is the meaning that you choose to give it. For some people, divorce is an absolute catastrophe. For others, it's freedom. Uh, for some people, losing a loved one uh, is an excuse to go into depression and anxiety for the next five years. For others, it's a, an opportunity to celebrate the life they had with them. Your past is not your destiny, my friends. Your biography is never your destiny. Who you are today is an ability to make a choice in the meaning that you give it. And the difference between those that get on with their life and empower others through their sacrifice, through their hardship, are the difference that people who go out and live a life of meaning versus a life of excuse and conversation. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde. Or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.